Well, it's coming uh, the time of the year that Bermuda grass pasture finally start to green up. And yes, last year was a very unfortunate year for Bermuda grass pastures because we have a severe drought statewide, I can say. So now some producers might be looking at their Bermuda grass pastures and say, man, those pastures are damaged. What are I supposed to do? Well, there are some management that we can do to try to revamp those pastures. For instance, if you see that your pasture was light damage, less than 30% damage, what I mean, 70% of the area is covered by Bermuda grass and 30% is not, well, uh, your pasture was light damage and most likely that what you need is to do a good uh, weed control program and also a proper fertilization. What I mean is, according to the soil samples, you may go there and apply right now phosphorus and potassium if you didn't apply yet. And after full green up, it starts to apply nitrogen, where we may apply 50 pounds of actual nitrogen for every expected ton of forage during the season. Let those pastures grow, the Bermuda grass grow, until it starts to reach flowering. And at that moment, you can go there and start grazing or go there and cut. Keep in mind, that will take six to eight weeks. And uh, during that time, do a grazing or a cutting that's going to be about a three inch height stubble in the end. If your pasture has a medium damage, about 30 to 60% damage, I mean, 30 to 60% of the area is not covered with Bermuda grass. Well, keep with a good weed control. However, now we can think about supplemental fertilization. What I mean is you may apply phosphorus and potassium accord to, according to the soil analysis. However, an extra 20 pounds of p 5 phosphorus per acre might be beneficial to develop better roots, especially during early season, so those plants can start to take up more of the nitrogen that you're going to provide after green up. And of course, keep a good grazing and hay management the same way that you are doing for the light damaged pastures. Now, finally, if you have a pasture that was severe damage, the damage is higher than 60%. In other words, more than half of your pasture doesn't have Bermuda grasses growing anymore. Well, it's even hard to think about worth to recede the pasture or not. And in this case, supplemental fertilization, good weed control, it's essential. And now comes the catch. If you are receding that uh, very severe damage pasture, well, better that you treat that as a Bermuda grass in an establishment year. That the grazing is going to occur just later, after two, three months. So that will give time for this new seedling come up develop at least three inches runners that's going to be well anchored in the soil so the cattle can go there and graze without damaging the new stand that's coming up. If a drought occurs, I would say do not fertilize, especially do not place any nitrogen there because if we are in a drought, most likely the Bermuda grass will start to flower because that's what it does. Oh, I don't have water, let me flower and stop growing. And at that moment, all the nitrogen that are placed in that soil will just feed the weeds that will continue growing under that harsh environment. So do not fertilize. Uh, if the drought hits when the Bermuda grass is about six or eight inches height, I think the worth to go there, hay or even graze, but keep that three or even four inches stubble height. Now, if a drought occurs right after a cut and you have about four to five inches of growth and start to flower just to leave the Bermuda grass alone. And finally, when you talk about weed control during a drought, continue doing your weed control. Most likely that we may think, well, I'm not taking any forage this year from this pasture, so I don't want to invest on, on, on herbicides. Well, if you let those weeds really run wild and grow all around, Next year is, what is going to be much more difficult to control and in the end you are going to be spending much more with, with control and herbicides. If you want more details on recovering Bermuda grass pastures after a drought, we have a fact sheet that even has a method for help you to assess the damage. To find the fact sheet in the nearest county office, just go to the SunUp website.